Okay, so I want to take the chance to thank Marvin for helping me at the end of my video, uh, softly and tenderly. And um, he's been my student for like four years now, and we started him from song one from Suzuki, and <laughs> so he's gonna play a little piece for you. That was like. Better one? <laughs> Make sure if you guys want to give him some encouragement and leave it down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> so we're looking for locations for Softly and Tenderly. It's really windy. I think it's about to start raining. This guy's looking pretty gray. Um, the issues we have to deal with is mostly we wanted to have some sheep in this song. And so we tried to, we're trying to convince the lady to bring the sheep down here. <laughs> it's about 10 minutes from where we live. Right behind me there's a path and that's um, where we're considering doing it. We're going to go check out some other locations. There's a little bit of trash but we could probably pick that up within a little while. we got to make sure we do this in the morning because it rains here in the afternoon. And the lady says she brings out her sheep at eight, from 8 to 10. So we'll try to make that work. <laughs> um, we're going to go check out the next place. So. Um, here's another location we're trying out, so I'll take some pictures here too. And um, there's some storm clouds gathering back there. I like here because it's got nice trees and a little forest back there. So I kind of like this place and the, I'm, I'm hoping the sheep lady will be fine bringing it over here. The next step is to go talk to the sheep lady. And so we're going to go do that right now. And we might try out another place that's kind of by a river. And so yeah, we'll see how it works. Okay, we're on the road going to visit the sheep lady. It finally stopped raining, so we decided to go right now and check it out. And we're gonna ask her if she can bring the sheep down there to where we took the pictures. Most of the pictures were all pretty much in the same area, so yeah, we're almost there. <laughs> Lots of dogs out here. There's some sheep. I'm hoping the ones that we use are a little wider than that. <laughs> So this is what roads are like in Guatemala. Sometimes you have to cross over to the other side of the lane. Because <laughs> there's no sidewalks or anything. So you gotta be a little more cautious while driving here. And this right here is where the sheep are, this green door here. So we're gonna park right here and go we'll talk to her. Okay, well the famous sheep lady does not seem to be home right now. So I guess we're gonna have to come back later. <laughs> so, I'm not sure where I left the key. Now going to look at a different place for the Softly and Tenderly video. It's down by the river, so there's a quite a bit of mud. It's a little slippery here, so don't want to get stuck. <laughs> I don't know. You sure you want to go down that? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Going down will not be a problem. If you, though down. you don't really have much of a choice now, I guess. Oh. Yeah, right at the back. <laughs> Let her go. You don't want to drive? No. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm sure. That looks really bad. You'll make it down. I have no idea you'll make it back up. Well, it's, when I break, it already kind of slips and slides. What? Maybe going down to this, um, we call it sheep park, <laughs> isn't the best idea. <laughs> uh, I know bad here. Uh, there's another <laughs> This is what we call the sheep park. The water's a little muddy right now because it rained, but um, we're thinking about taking some scenery shots here. Um, we call it the sheep park because normally there's sheep down here. But it's kind of a peaceful, pretty area. We used to come in, down here and have lunch sometimes as a family on Sundays and stuff. So we're gonna look around and see if we can find some good scenery pictures. Problem down here is because we don't know uh, when the sheep are here and where they live and all that. So. Um, we'll probably take the sheep videos up there 
and then maybe switch during the video or something. We're not quite sure yet, so we're working on that. <laughs> This would be a good place for the tiny violinist to play, but you can't really see the river from down here because there's like a little ledge here. So, we'll see what we It's really pretty here, great for a Sunday picnic, but like I said before, the water right now is a little bit, more than a little, it's like brown. So, um, hopefully it'll clear up if we decide to use it. Um, we'll be coming in the morning probably. We're now on the other side of the um, ravine where the sheep park is because we weren't going to go back up that other way. <laughs> um, so now we're going to see if we can find a way back home. Clean the windows. That doesn't involve, that doesn't involve going up a big mudslide. <laughs> Eh, disculpe, que dice que tenemos que llegar a la esperanza, bajamos por allá, pero está bien feo. Ya no podemos subir, entonces, ¿no sabes un buen camino por aquí? Que... Aquí se va. Ajá. Ah, bueno, gracias. Not sure what that means with these cars. I guess down that way, wherever. These little village roads can go on forever and ever. Getting home? Big... Yeah, there's you know where this road goes? Uh, if I choose the right one, which I think I will, maybe it'll lead up through Barrios, but if I choose the wrong one, then you might end up a lot worse. So we finally got the lady to come out here and um, get the sheep down here. So I don't know if you can see them there. Where are they? Trying to find out where they are. <laughs> Yeah, they're over there. So um, we're gonna work with that, and we're gonna have to come back on Wednesday too to film more. My brother's here too. Zap. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, now we're losing the sun too, so we can't do much filming right now, and my dad has to go to town. But anyways, that's it. So I'm gonna be working on that in the next couple days, and I will see you soon.